everybody. Are you ready for your specially happy time with? Aloha from Marieville. And Mike and Tim meet us as usual in your casual moments. And like every time, we have the good movies to reveal to you, you, and you. Okay, I'm sure that you don't want to waste more time. So, let's go and see what movie we are gonna reveal. Hello, this is happy time for me to reveal you the good movie. I'm feeling very pleasure and willing to bring this movie for reviewing you. And what is the movie? The movie's name is Still a List. Still a List is a new spectacular movie in this century. It has just won um, the Best Actress of Oscar Award. And it is a beautiful skin play and the story is so catching. I want you to know what happened in this memorable story. So let's go and see what happened in this beautiful story. <laughs> Still, Alice is a beautiful tragedy of Alice Howland, renowned linguistics professor, happily married with three grown children. All that begins to change when she strangely starts to forget words and then more. When her doctor diagnoses her with early onset Alzheimer's disease, Alice and her family lips fake a harrowing challenge as this terminal degenerative neurological ailment slowly progresses to an inevitable conclusion they are dread. All along the way, Alice struggles to not only to fight the inner decay, but to make the most of her remaining time to find the love and peace to make simply living worthwhile. Okay, the movie that I want to present is Guardian of the Galaxy, directed by James from Marvel, the studio that brought you the global blockbuster franchise of Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, and the Avengers. Come a new team, the Guardian of the Galaxy. An action packed epic space adventure, Marvel Guardian of the Galaxy expands the Marvel Cinematic Universe into the cosmos. <laughs> Where Blush Avenger beat the crew, find himself the object of an unrelenting battery hunt after stealing a mysterious orb called West by Ronan, a powerful villain with ambition that threatens the entire world. I'm high on the crew is fought into an uneasy trance with countless of their spread midfits, Rocket. A gun shooting raccoon, Groot, a tree like humanoid, the deadly and enigmatic Gamora, and the round bench driving Rex the Dress Destroyer. But when crew discover the true power of the orb and the menace is possessed to the cosmos, he must do his best to rally his red tech rivals for a last desperate stand with the galaxy's fate in the balance. Hello everybody, today I will give us some details about my movie. My movie is Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is a 2009 British American action mystery film based on the character of the same name uh, created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Uh, this film was directed by Guy Ritchie, Robert Downey Jr. act as Sherlock Holmes and Jude Law act as Dr. John Watson. In this film, uh, Holmes and his companion Dr. John Watson meet Ed from a former adversary, I mean Adler. Investigate a series of murders connected to occult rituals. 
Mark Strong plays the villain Lord Blackwood, who has somehow returned from the dead after execution with a plot to take over the British Empire using an arsenal of dark arts and new technologies. This is an old plot time, so next we are going to follow the topic of why these movies attract us. Let's see! So every time when everyone asks me that, why do I love this story? I always answer them that Stewalis is so realistic, Stewalis is so emotional, Stewalis is so beautiful. And the thing that I like best in this movie is Julianne Moore, the leading role, the leading actress of this movie. She offered the best performance. She do it so incredible. She do it so beautiful. She make us believe that she is truly Alzheimer. And this skin play in this movie make us understand the patient of Alzheimer. And the storyline is so true. The storyline is so honest and inspire us of the aspect of life such as memory, loss, bewilderment, fighting for be happy again, fighting for memory, fighting for what I want, what you want, what they want, and fighting to live. And yes, to love. <laughs> so I want you to see this movie very much. I'm sure that it will brighten your day, it will open your world, and it will make you understand the Alzheimer person. <laughs> and yes, it's not fun, it's a very sad movie, but it is a very good movie too. <laughs> superheroes movies like me. This movie don't disappoint me. The Thai movie is very exciting. Its computer graphic is very good. The story is not only has many humorous scenes but also has the will points. For example, thinking before doing. When you do something wrong, you should improve it. And the most important Important teaching in this movie is about friendship between friends. That really makes me impressive in every character. The first character, Star Lord or Peter Quill. He is very clever, cunning, but playful. So this makes him look smart and pretty at the same time. Gamora. He is very beautiful, strong, and spicy and I like her fighting stance so much. Drax the Destroyer, despite his fierce face and body, he is a really innocent man. Rocket Raccoon, he is tiny but mighty, and the most intelligent character in this team. And the last one, Groot. I especially appreciate this character because he is sincere and sacrificed himself to save his friends. This movie is kind of action movie that have very good soundtrack which make me want to dance along with the beat of the song. I'm impressed with this movie because the story continues to read things. Many scenes make me thriller and the Sherlock Holmes is intelligent has and has ability to troubleshoot and solve the case. Uh, he also is capable to other activities such as fighting and playing in the violin. And furthermore, the hero of the of this story, Robert Downey Jr., is very handsome. <laughs> These are some of the movies that we present to you about the plot lines and our impressions. Now our time is up. See you again next time. I'm Air. I'm Mike. Aloha! Drama! Review! Thank you! Goodbye!